Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Jake and my presentation is entitled The Future of Female Infantry Officers in Marine Corps Battalions. I want to take a few moments to say thank you to my mentors, Dr. Minsky and Mr. Anderson. And some stuff about me so you can kind of know where I'm coming from. I lived in California and worked as a Marine Rifleman for five years between high school and college. I did one deployment to Afghanistan and I chose this topic because it is an issue that has been steadily growing traction for a long time. When I got in in 2009, no one was talking about it, but slowly and surely, as the years started passing by, we started to hear more and more conflicting rumors. And just for the record, I always worked with 100% male units. Okay, so my six main points are, one, what is happening, what kind of jobs are women fighting for? Two, I'm gonna talk about the history of women fighting in combat roles for the US. Three, I'm going to talk about this. I will show evidence that answers the question, do women want this job? Four, how's it happening? How are they going to physically get to these units? Five, what's the future going to look like 50 years down the road? What should we expect? And then I'm going to close it out by telling everyone my personal opinions on the subject. Okay, so what is happening? Defense Secretary Ashton B. Carter said on December 3rd, 2015, that the Pentagon will open all combat jobs to women. A direct quote from him, there will be no exceptions, he said. They will be allowed to drive tanks, fire mortars, and lead the infantry soldiers into combat. They'll be able to serve as Army Rangers, Green Berets, Navy SEALs, Marine Corps Infantry, Air Force Pearl Jumpers, everything else that was previously open only to men. This was the push off the starting block for full gender integration of Marine units. The United States is following in the footsteps of nations like Israel who already have women serving in combat. Okay, history. Women have been serving in the military since the Revolutionary War, where they worked as nurses or cooks, and they have served in some capacity ever since. In the Civil War, women disguised themselves as men to serve in combat. Several other countries already allow women to serve in combat units. For example, Denmark in 1978, Norway in 1984, in Sweden in 1989, all gave women equal opportunities to advance in the military by allowing them in combat. Despite the U.S.'s old tradition of not allowing females to combat jobs, women have frequently found themselves in combat in Iraq and Afghanistan, where more than 130 women have died and more than 800 have been wounded. Pressure for gender equality in the military has grown more intense with the war on terror. A nationwide university poll conducted last year found that three quarters of voters surveyed favored allowing women to serve in units engaging in close combat. The two main fears that develop from putting females in the trenches are being disproven. First, the way society is treating women in the workplace is becoming more and more equal. And second, there are no more trenches in warfare. Frontline troops are arguably the same amount of danger as support troops. Okay, evidence that females want these jobs. The, num the numbers from validated military surveys don't lie. 22% of women in the Army wanted them versus 40% of women in the Marines, which comes out to over 100,000 individual people. Definitely not a major majority, but there was for sure evidence that says at least some women want to do these jobs. So they want these jobs. How do they get them? How does a woman <coughs> become an infantry platoon leader? That she successfully passed IOC infantry officer's course. Currently, 30 women have failed out due to a variety of reasons, but for the most part, they could not meet the physical standards, mainly hikes. They haven't been able to complete the hikes for two reasons. First off, I don't know if anyone has ever done like an extended, long, conditioned hike, but it's all in your head. Your mind has to be ready to go before you start. All the women who have attempted IOC were told even if they graduated, they would not go to an infantry platoon. They were simply allowed to attend the course to see if they could pass it. And you can do the math and see how this is a problem. You know, three hours into the hike, your shoulders start hurting, your back starts hurting, and the voice starts talking in the back of your head. And it's like, even if you make it through, even if you get to the finish line, you're not going to be allowed in. That was a problem. And the second problem is body armor is designed to fit on a male flat chested body. I mean, everyone's seen pictures of like the best we wore. Inside, there's a bulletproof ceramic plate, and it's heavy, it's uncomfortable even when you're flat chested, but if it was at an angle, it would be even more comfortable, which may attribute to why they're not getting through the course. Okay, I'll look for their future. It remains to be seen whether President Donald Trump will halt the U.S. military's ongoing efforts to open all combat jobs to women, said by retired Marine Coast General James Mattis. 
stuff around me for the defense secretary. We have to be very careful that we do not undercut the military battlefield effectiveness with short sighted social problems. Navy Secretary Ray Lewis assured Marines in April that the Marine Corps would not lower standards to allow women to join combat jobs. So it comes down to the fact that it's only a matter of time before a woman comes along that can pass all the requirements. She will be the first female infantry leader. Okay, my opinion on this. I mean, it's pretty simple. I don't judge co-workers by the color of their skin. I don't judge people by their sexual orientation. I don't judge people by their gender. I only care about one thing, and that's job performance. If you can perform your job to a simple standard, and, you can, and you're safe, and you're effective, by all means, live your life wherever you want to do it. You know, I don't stress things that I can't control. It's my belief that before too long, we're going to start seeing females in the infantry. And that's the conclusion. Only time will tell what is going to happen. Everything falls back on a little female come along that physically you get through the training. I think there's definitely women out there that can do it. And it's only a matter of time before they come along. This is my good drive. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, let's give them a hand first. <laughs>